Uh, Vijay, you are known as Mr. Simputer almost. Well, I'm one of the seven uh, inventors of the Simputer. So Looking back at it, I mean, it made a huge dent on the full ICT for the debate and things like that. Uh, first, the negatives. The product didn't work. Why? Well, you know, th there are always, uh, you know, different ways of looking at, uh, of uh, retrospectively at, at things like this. But, uh, you know, I think it, what is very clear is that uh, we didn't anticipate the the arrival of the cellular phone and, and so fast, so as fast as it did, and the connectivity infrastructure that we kind of assumed was really sort of landlines and STD, you know, boots and so on. And so the the, the technology had been developed really around modems and you know connectivity through landlines and so on. And and I think to sort of re-engineer it into so sort of the cellular technologies would have taken effort and yeah. finances and so on, which, which we, had, we didn't have at the right times right, right. To, to be able to take uh, that forward. So do you think India is prepared for software but not quite for hardware innovation? I, yeah, I think we don't quite understand the game in hardware very well. Um, I think particularly if, you know, in innovation where, where you're coming up with something very novel, you need some initial push to get that scale. Because unless somebody gives you that scale driver, uh, you you know, it's very difficult to play the hardware game. Because, you know, I, we made numerous trips to many uh, factories where, you know, we could have got very high quality manufacturing going and brought the price down and so on. But they all insisted on on orders on the, you know, of 100,000 pieces or, you know, or thereabouts. And, uh, and, you know, we didn't really have the financial muscle to do that. And, and if, on the other hand, if, say, the government or, you know, the, you know some, some agency had, uh, had given that initial order of, yeah, a, yeah. of a large number of pieces, I believe it would, it would have worked. And, um, and in some ways, you know, you can, you can see the comparison uh, between uh, uh, how uh, something that is really kind of an extension of the computer, the $100 laptop that right, Negroponte right, right. Uh, uh, launched, um, one laptop per child, uh, that project, uh, you know, had, had, uh, had, had, the, had the push, uh, you know, right. from, from agencies uh, in, in the U.S. that were willing to support. But at the same time, I mean, it made a huge dent on the full ICT for the debate. Oh, absolutely. I think I think the computer, uh, uh, you know, to me, is more important, most important, uh, is uh, is a meme, right? It's an idea that uh, that we can we can build, uh, uh, you know, complex uh, pieces of hardware and that that serves people's needs. That serves people's needs. And that, Maybe goes against the paradigm of computing, personal computing. Sure, I, I you know I think uh, in many ways uh, you know the the computer grew out of uh, uh, the the thinking or the thought process that uh, of uh, a, 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 an interdisciplinary group in, in Bangalore had gotten into to study ICT for development and. If you recall, in 1998, there was something called the Bangalore Declaration, right, and, right, right. and um, you know there were anthropologists like M. N. Srinivas and others right. who had been involved, and and so it, you know we were thinking about this really from a development perspective, and this computer was was an obvious choice of a. Uh, in fact, we we thought of it thought of the paradigm of a transistor radio and I what see. it had done and a handheld, you know, a small device that that gave information and gave useful information. And very briefly, your present company, Strand Genomics, or in the new Avatar, what's right. it doing? How would you explain it to a layperson? Oh, uh, it's difficult to explain to a layperson other than to say that uh, uh, many areas of science today, uh, and particularly biology, is, uh, the ability to do experiments and the ability to generate data uh, has outstripped the ability to understand that data and analyze it. And so, Strand, uh, you know, is a company that is positioned 
to meet that need of, of analyzing and interpreting what the data is saying. So, in a way, you know, uh, you've probably heard of business intelligence, which has uh, done a lot for business data. And similarly, Strand provides scientific intelligence for, for biologists and uh, biological data. Thanks so much. Pleasure meeting you.